Okay, so what I've got here is a, another homemade device. Uh, this is a copper tube. These are that same galvanized steel, uh, just straightened out and cut into pieces. In the center, there's one copper one, which you can see there. I think that's important to have one copper one in there. And these two copper spirals, uh, double spirals. Uh, I went for red and blue because uh, I thought about the, the, the blood in our veins, the, our life force. It's blue when you look at it uh, like this, uh, but when it comes out, it's red. So yeah, that was my thinking behind the red and blue. Uh, now what we've got here is essentially um, a bolt going through a hole in the, in the copper. And on the bolt, uh, we've got four of those little ring magnets. Now, um, this is aligned with north and south. So this is north and the pointer is facing south. And uh, just another point. Um, so this should be set up in the same way as the, as the magnetized device. So the, the, there is a correct way round to have these magnets. Um, as I showed you with that, uh, that tiny little marker that marks black and red. You want the black end to be attracted to the end that points north. Uh, okay, so I think that's it. One other point is that I've got this attached to a, a metal pole. Uh, these are actually, um, what are they? They're the walls to the trampoline, which uh, have been recommissioned. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I've, I've managed to stick three together, which, uh, yeah, normally you can't do that, but I had to make some adjustments. Three are now stuck together, and I'm gonna put these in here. Oh, and in addition, uh, let me just quickly show you this. I've got this grill that I found in the forest. I am going to extend this thing out. Let me just see if I can put it in here for you without squashing anything. So yeah, the goal, is to lay it something like that obviously facing north uh, running north with a connection to the base of the pole and uh, yeah I believe that will uh, super boost all of the sweet corn that's going to be here in case you're wondering these these double spirals that I've got up here these double spirals are made by hand I didn't have any mold for them at all you don't really need a mold just go with it guys, just go with it. You are more capable than you imagine. Okay, so I've just dug a little hole uh, where I want the antenna to go. Because on this land, we also have magnetized cables uh, running quite a lot of them now. We've got one, two, three, four. I'm gonna put in a fifth over here with that last remaining uh, device that you saw I'm gonna move the, uh, the sunken greenhouse and yeah that uh, last cable can go there so the point I want to make is that I will be connecting my metallic support with this wire because um, not only do I want to you know super boost this area here with the uh, with the metal grate that I have waiting over there uh, I also want to extend this this massive energy all the way down this cable. Of course, there are magnets at the other end of this cable already, but I think this antenna will increase the energy running down this cable, which, uh, which goes to the, to the hedge over there. And just as a last point, these cables can be as long as you like. Uh, I mean, I haven't really heard the longest yet, but I think, uh, you know, a couple of miles, no problem it will be just as effective at a couple of miles as it would be for 20 meters. I've just established a connection with the magnetized cable and pole. Oop. And uh, I've also got a little bit of bass out, which I'm just gonna sprinkle in around it, just for fun. I know it's gonna help. I mean, ultimately I'm, I'm gonna put bass out everywhere. I'm just kind of doing it bit by bit. So. Before I put the sweet corn in here, I'll dig it, dig it a bit, dig in the bass out. And um, yeah, that's it. So now let's just fill this in. For this grill that I found, um, I'm actually not gonna put it in today. What I would like to do is, when I dig in the bass out and uh, move this soil a little bit, then I will put this a couple of centimeters below the surface. I just want it to be underground. 
and uh, there's no particular need for me to do that today but what I will do is make sure that that is uh, connected with with this if anyone has any ideas about uh, any of this stuff you know any, anything that they think I could be doing better I really want to know I want to hear I want to hear from you but that now is done just want to show you this experiment I've still got running it's almost finished uh, you can find all of this stuff in articles uh, which I will list for you underneath this video. But yeah, in this experiment, I've got uh, a, a replica of an Irish round tower with the 51 degree cone at the top. And this is made from wood and sandpaper, corundum sandpaper specifically. So yeah, in this pot, the, uh, the radishes are looking pretty good. Pretty good, but check out this one where the, um, the hat alone is sitting, this radish is enormous i don't know if you can get a sense for the size but so it's sitting next to that hat and yeah it's evidently bigger uh, than any of for any of the radishes i've got i'll show you in a second but um i love the way also it's bending inwards towards the towards the cone almost like it's attracted to it right the other one's pretty decent still bigger than either of these where the cone is ultimately further away and by the way, the third pot that I did have here with nothing, uh, with no, no cone, no hat, um, nothing sprouted. <laughs> so that, that soil has now been recycled, but nothing at all happened. And yeah, just to give you a perspective, we've got, we've got radishes over here, which are pretty decent, I will say. They're not bad, but they are, oof, I don't know if you can see, but they're not as big as the one in the pot with the cone. Here you can see a beautiful lettuce with a Lukowski coil around it, just next to the flowering kale. And right next to it, there's another lettuce, which is about half, maybe less, half the size. Clear. These lettuces over here are just amazing. I think that's two squished together, but even so, that is sensational, <laughs> I would say. Uh, what else have I got over here to show you? Peas, everything coming along nicely. You can see Lukowski coils on many things. Lovely looking lettuce here. Incredible, just about to flower, I think. And um, look at these guys. It's just, oof. Uh, we've got another um, miniature tower in there and yeah they're loving it loving it this coriander next to the tower is unquestionably the tallest even though they're going to flower it's still right next to the, the uh, tower what else we've got a magnetized uh, pea bed over here so i built this pea bed with all um, metal and this on this side is connected to one of the magnetized cables in fact, this <laughs> the same one that I've just attached to. So uh, my tower, my antenna, I think is gonna boost even more this this whole bed because it's all connected. You know, even this, this bit of bicycle frame, that is part of it now. And look at these peas, just look at them. And we've already been picking for the last sort of week or so, but that is an absolute bush of peas. All of them beautifully healthy right next to the beans uh, which as I've mentioned in one of my posts the beans that are closest to the magnetized pea bed uh, appear to be bigger than those that are not not by too much now I would say but a little bit the others are catching up but then to be fair there are you know there's a magnetized cable here as I said connecting to this and there's actually another one uh, here you know, so these peas will be naturally bigger. And actually, if I get down low here, you can see that those ones there, directly next to the cable, are bigger than those ones there, where there is no cable. Can you see? Smaller, 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 bigger cable. So yeah, 
so much, so much going on. I mean, this pyramid potato bed is, yeah, the potatoes are about three times the size as the control group in the other garden. Uh, this dill is just blowing my mind. I've never seen a dill plant so healthy at the base of this um, pyramid where the energy is actually being directed straight into this soil here from there. And I believe that's really helping this plant. It tastes um, just unbelievable, out of the world, out of this world. It is fantastic. Uh, everything around here, really. This, uh, what do we got? We got this um, celery looking great. This has been hanging around doing nothing for, whew, feels like about six months and suddenly it started to go. Now the pyramid is here. Uh, just behind them, we've got Monge 2, more peas. Uh, there's another little tower in there. Yeah, I think that's it for now. <laughs> so there it is. One electroculture antenna ready to go working already and um, what it will be working on is an area that is equal to its height so if you you measure its height uh, across there you'll have a circle that is the area of influence obviously the closer to the center you are the more influence there's going to be and this little baby is collecting um, the energy from lightning strikes around the earth, the residual energy from lightning strikes. It doesn't matter if we don't have any lightning around here. It is still doing exactly that. Much like the paramagnetic tower that I showed you um, in the uh, lettuce bed in the other garden. Collecting energy. Uh, right, so I, I think that's it. I hope uh, that has been helpful and, and like I said, if any of you have any suggestions uh, that might help me or anyone watching this video improve their techniques, then don't hesitate to let us know. Catch you in the next one.